all right people welcome back to our next video all right guys so today i'll be showing you guys how to install loss of scaling on your lenovo legion go s the steam os version i already made a video on this already that was on my asus rogue ally so this process is a little bit simpler and easier to do and also you also get a toggle in your menu right here where you can turn it on and off on the asus rogue ally you couldn't turn it on and off you just gotta input the command in every game with this way i'm about to show you you still got an input command but there's an option to turn it off and on in here as well so i'll show you guys step by step how to do it and how to get that done right first things first if you guys don't know what loss of scaling is loss of scaling is basically a frame generator it generates frames for you and boosts your fps to give you better experience while playing your games right so if you're getting 20 fps this is going to double fps to 40 and all depending on what game you're playing and next thing as well doesn't work perfect with every game so keep that in mind because this is really just like a port over it's not fully implemented yet in steamos but it still does work and it's a great look for loss of scale first things first what i need you guys to do you want to come to the store and you want to install loss of scaling it's around 6.99 seven dollars us so you want to do that because you still need all the files from this application for it to run properly on your device right so get that done and then let's get right into it guys one more thing i got want you guys to do you want to make sure your steamos is up to date so you want to come here you want to go to settings go to system you check for update and you want to make sure you're on the latest stable firmware right so you want to make sure you have that up and running and everything's good then you want to come and then you want to go to desktop mode you want to come down here bottom left you want to open up system settings and then you want to scroll all the way down till you get to users when you come here you want to set your password I already set mine already, but you would hit change password and then you put your password in here and confirm the password and make sure it's the same password in both. And you want to hit set password. Make it something simple, guys, so that you remember it. Don't have to be complicated, just make it something simple. And then you just hit save and then you up and running because you need this to install any other software and stuff like that on your device. So once you get that done, hit save and you have your password up and running. Then you want to come to Firefox. I want to type in Decky Loader, right? Then you want to come here, and then on this website, you want to hit download. You can close this out. You want to go to your file manager right here. Come in here. You want to go to downloads, and then you should see Decky installer right here. Reason I have so much because it wasn't giving me the prompt telling me it was downloading, but once you click it and come here, it should be here. If it's not really showing you that it's downloaded, but once you come in here, guys. You just double click this, yeah, execute. So remember that password you made in your users, you put that password in. If you don't got a keyboard guys, like I do right here, you just have to press X, then you bring up that keyboard, right? And then you can tie the password in. So once you tie the password in, then in here you will see, so when you come in here, your screen will look a little bit different than mine because I already got it downloaded already. So it's telling me to update to latest pre-release or update latest version. So you would see release recommended. So that's the one you would check and then you would just hit okay and continue, right? I'm not gonna do it because I um, already got it installed already, but your screen will look a little bit different, right? Cause you do not have it installed. I already have it installed. So that's why you've seen all these options. So you would only see two options, release recommended and then pre-release. And then you could install it it's by pressing OK, and then you should be up and running, guys. All right, so next thing, guys, come to this website. It's a GitHub website. And when you come here, you want to scroll down and on the right side, you're going to see releases. Depending on when you're doing this, there are going to be a lot of different releases, right? Could be a new version when you're doing this, older version, depending on when you're doing it, guys. So once you come here and you're in releases, you're going to see a lot of different release in here right and they've been updating it a lot two days ago two days ago yesterday yesterday see so 19 hours 13 hours so there's a lot of release in here so you come down to the latest one which is this right here and then you want to download this right here so loss of scaling zip want to hit it to download it all right so i pressed it so it should have downloaded let's go over here go to downloads yeah it's right here see i'm not sure why it's not sh give me the show me the visuals that it's actually downloaded but it's in here she's lost the skill and slip see i did it a couple times gotta keep pressing it then it's in here see once you go to downloads it's, it's in here guys all right so once you confirm that it's downloaded you want to x this out 
and then we're gonna go back to gaming mode all right so once you're here you want to open up flyer menu right here and then you should see a new plugin right here already got it so you've been seeing it on my screen but this should pop up on your flyer menu you want to go in here and you want to go to settings you want to scroll down and then you want to enable develop mode right once you do that you come back over here then you want to go to developers then on the right side you're going to say install plugin from zip you want to click browse and wherever you saved it at it should be in downloads you come in here and then you're going to see the file right as i said before you've seen a lot of them because i did it all the time because it wasn't showing me i was actually downloading it right so once you're in here you click on that then you just press install and it's going to do its thing and then it's going to pop up like this and then you're going to see you lost the scaling right in here guys all right so then you go inside here and it say you got to install it right once you click install it's gonna do it's gonna do its thing and then you should be up and running so now everything is green so lost the scale and install and lsfg vk install successfully right if any one of these are red that's probably because you don't have something installed if the top one is red that means you didn't purchase the lost scale and application Right, so you have to purchase it because you need the necessary files from the application. So you gotta spend a $6.99 to get this to actually work, right? So once that's done, you have everything installed that you need, guys. So now, as you see right here, it says FPS multiplier. So you can turn it on, off, 2X. So 2X multiplier frames, every regular frames that you gain from your system, it double it by two and then so forth, so forth, right? So if you get in, if you go to 3x double it by 3 and then go 4x double it by 4 but all depending on what game you're playing what resolution you're playing what tp you're playing will determine the performance you'll get from it right it's a game by game basis so the higher you may go the more artifact you might get ghosting and stuff like that so performance might get worse depending on how high you're getting right so i say right now to stick for 2x and see how it goes depending on what game you're playing because artifact could get crazy depending on what you're doing right so stick with 2x and play around with the games and see what's going on before you start going crazy with this right come down then you see flow scale as well if you have it at 100 percent your performance might not be up there right so you want to make sure you have it a little bit around like 75 60 right so the lower you keep your flow scale the better your performance would be but you might lose a little bit depending on what you're doing what game you're playing in your visual fidelity right so keep it around like 60 75 around there and you should be good guys then you also got hdr and performance right the performance makes it a little bit lighter on your system right so once you turn this on you might see a boost in your fps depending on what game you're playing and as you hear me keep saying all depending on what game you're playing guys so this just gives you a lighter version of loss of scaling boosted performance right i usually have this on so you can keep it on and it's a game by game basis and how you want to play with your system so it's up to you play with it turn it off and on depending on what you're doing and see how it goes for you guys once you got all your settings situated you want to come to the game that you're trying to put it that you're trying to use lost scaling with and with every game you got to do this guys so once you come in here you go to general scroll down you want to enter this command it's going to be the squiggly line slash lsfg space percent command percent right i'll put this down in the description box down below so you guys can copy and paste it or just write it in you gotta make sure you put that space guys and it's not this is not a regular dash it's the squiggly dash guys so once you put that in then you could have inside the game and see what's going on right but if you open up your menu you should see a button here that says enable not sure why i'm not seeing it but in other videos i'm seeing that there is an enable button probably because it's a newer version of lost of scaling and yeah i am on the newest version because i did click on the latest download but i'm thinking you could ju you could just still turn it off with this right here right which is fps multiplier so if you bring it all the way down if you bring it all the way down that's you turn it off and then if you bring it back to x that's you turn it on so let's hop inside the game and see what's going on first things first i'm gonna once i get inside the game i'll cap the fps to 30. all right so now let's see if this works guys so right now lsfg is off I'm getting 41 fps 42 i'll show you guys let's go up so see it's off right there so we're getting 43 44 right lowest 36 37 around there so now let's turn it on 
go back in and every time you do this guy you have to restart the game so turn this on put it on 2x right oh it did change mid game see jump up to 60 so I guess that the, up, the updated version that I got is actually working if you guys could t look right here it should jump up to 72 and 4x isn't that great you don't, see, you don't really see a big of a jump in 4x right but I do recommend you still restart the game right but let me just leave it at Twitch for now. Let's put it back here. So it went to 40 FPS right now. Yeah, 40 FPS. Go back to 2X. Went up to 60, right? I didn't get to cap the FPS because I wanted to see what's going to go, what's going to happen, right? So you see now we went from around 30 something FPS to 60, going up to 70. So this is actually working great. But the best way to play this guy, you want to make sure you cap your FPS. You definitely want to make sure you cap your FPS, and you could, you should actually, if you're trying to change your your times, like your 2x, 3x, you want to make sure you restart the game too, just to make sure that everything is good and running properly. All right? So it is working, and it feels smooth. I don't really see a lot of artifacts, and uh, as you could tell, you guys right here, top left, that's where the FPS is showing. So this right here, guys, game changer for Steam OS really a game changer for steam os guys yeah good working perfectly fine um the youtube video is going to be actually 30 because i started recording the video in 30 fps so you're not going to really see the fps amount when you actually with your naked eye because it's going to be in 30 but as you can see up here it did double my fps so yeah guys that's basically it full video is going to come out soon probably during the week or next weekend I'm going to work on it. I'm going to do some gameplay comparisons with my Legion Go and then versus my Legion Go STMS uh, with loss to scaling and then see what happens. Then also I plan on doing a video with different games and see how it actually works with the other games, right? To see what game is working with, what game is not working with. So that should be a longer video and you can get a sense of what's going on and if it's a great fit for you and the game you're playing, right? So that's basically it guys, thanks for tuning in, and hit the like button if you like what I'm posting guys, sub channel for more awesome content guys, and also I want to give a shout out to Deck Wizard. he's the one that first did this installation guide, as well as I could see with this version of the installation, where you could actually turn off loss of scaling and turn it back on and change your 2x, 3x and 4x, I actually did a video as well with my Aces Rogue Ally, but it's a different installation guide. You don't have the option of turning it on and off. You just gotta probably delete the command if you want it off, right? But this is a way more intuitive way to do it because you have the option to turn it off and on and you don't have to always mess with the command. You can just leave it like that, right? But yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Thanks for tuning in.